is how might we protect ourselves moving forward? That is exactly what lawmakers are trying to deal with. With us now is Robert Johnston, CEO of Adlimin, a cybersecurity firm. He also founded the Marine Corps' first national cyber protection team. Robert, thank you very much for coming on. When you look at the reporting that we just laid out from Casey, from Joe, how much do we not have a handle on this and how much further do we have to go? Is it going to get done in time for the midterms? Well, I think the American people wanted to know whether indictments and public attribution were enough to deter the Russian government. It was enough to deter the Chinese, but the American people have that answer. It's not enough to deter the Russian government from acting out. You're talking about the Russians. Facebook didn't talk about the Russians. They did not lay the blame squarely on the Russians. Others are, like, for example, James Clapper. Watch. It's actually the Russians. I, I'm pretty confident it is, you know, walks like a duck, quacks like a duck sort of thing. I also think, though, that this is only the tip of the iceberg. And I think you also need to look at the other platforms, uh, Twitter, for example, and see what's happening there. I think it's much more widespread than what uh, has been exposed by Facebook uh, uh, so far. That is a scary, as Dan Coates described it, blinking red light. Is this administration doing enough to fight it? No, I don't think so. I don't think there's a successful deterrent model. Mm. Now, Facebook wasn't ready to directly attribute the Internet Research Agency and the Russian government, but they did say that several admin accounts were admin accounts on these recent pages that they deleted. They just weren't yet confident. I actually read Facebook's post as a cry for help. Mm. It said, government you need to step in and declare attribution. When everyone goes into the government service, they raise their right hand and they say, I will support and defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. It's a Title 10 responsibility. It's a Title 50 responsibility. Facebook isn't ready, but the government should be, and it, they need to step up. If you're not seeing it from the administration, from the executive branch, are you seeing more potential of that through the legislative branch, through Congress? Well, I've always been, you know, leadership comes top down. You mm. need to see it from the executive branch. He's the one that owns the intel agencies. They're his executors, yeah. they work for him. So his directives are what they're going to push. It's got to come from the top. It's tough to see those two headlines coexisting side by side. One that says Russia is attacking the election. Our NBC headline pointing out that critics say the White House has no cohesive plan to combat it. Robert Johnston, thank you very much for thank coming you. on the show. Coming up next.